Dusty Woman shirt. And I'm ready to fold more laundry because it's never ending, right? Especially when you have kids. So where were we? Talking about things that we have control over and things that we don't have control over. So things that we do have control. Let's start with things we don't have control over. Where we were born. The color of our skin, our race, our nationality, our parents, the things we're taught as children, those things that, that stick in your brain, whether you know that they're there or not, they're the things that actually cause a lot of us to make the decisions that we make throughout our lives. Um, implicit memories is what my therapist would call it. So we all have that, that we have no control over. We have um, who we're attracted to. First, why are, why are we so concerned with who people are having sex with? Why are we so concerned about that? Like, are we having sex on a city bus? Are we having sex in the park? Are we... I mean, I, I seriously don't get the problem. If you think it's gross, if you think it's sinful or whatever, don't do it. Don't do it. Anyway, that's something that, that we don't have control over. And there's, there's science to back that up, that people are who they are. And you know what? There's a lot of fluidity about every aspect of our lives, right? Like our tastes in food, our tastes in music, our tastes in um, political affiliations. I think there's probably a lot of people who, who have changed their political thoughts over the years. Um belief systems around religion. Those are things that are fluid. And I would argue that so is sexual orientation, so is gender. You know, just because we're told, hey, you have a vagina, you're a girl, you have a penis, you're a boy. Um, I mean, it kind of, kind of means nothing. Um, so, so some things that we do have control over are our own feelings, right? So all those implicit memories that our parents put into our brains when we were little and had and knew nothing else and really put all of our trust into these humans that the only, really the only humans that we knew at that time. Um, we have control now over as adults over which ones of those we choose to believe and which ones we choose to set aside, even though they'll still come back. My brother and I were talking the other day about how our dad, um, whom I don't speak to anymore for a number of reasons, and this is one of them, that he has extremely racist tendencies and thoughts and, and told my brother before we moved to Tennessee from Connecticut, when I was nine and my brother was like, what? How old were you? Six, you're six years older than me. So he told my brother that people in the South were just inherently more stupid than the people in the North. And while my brother knew that that wasn't really true, there's still like this, oh, well, you're my dad. Um, you share these things because you believe them and I should trust you because you're my dad. Well, my brother is smart enough to know now that my dad isn't always right and that people aren't always right. Um, but those thoughts are still kind of in there. Like there's this initial gut response like, oh, well, that's just because you're stupider than me. Well, no, but, but he knows. He's like, no, 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 that's not, that's not true. You just have had different life experiences and um, different maybe opportunities. 